Hi, I'm Karen Calabrese and welcome to Karen TV. We are going to make a really delicious crossover sandwich today. Um, you can delight your non-vegan friends with it and your vegan friends with it and we could actually take it another step and make it a raw sandwich. But this is a crossover. I call this a transitional, part of our transitional food line. So we're going to use red onions, red pepper, marinated mushrooms, avocado, tomato, vegan mayo, at basil and our homemade pimento cheese which you can find in my recipe book soak your nuts on page 63 but if you don't have the book we can actually ship it to you we make tons of it here at Karen's Fresh Corner every day I'm going to use a little um, pepper a little salt olive oil yeah, yeah I love olive oil I put olive oil in just about everything and this wonderful ingredient called spike you can pick this up at any of your health food stores and it just adds a wonderful flavor to whatever you're making. We're going to use some whole wheat pita bread and uh, I know a lot of you are gluten free right now so you could actually find a gluten free alternative to this or even just use a rice wrap for it but here we go. So we're going to take our olive oil and generously spread it on because you know when you're doing vegan food you want to make sure you're getting lots of flavor I've never been that you know bland boiled rice and steamed vegetables kind of vegan that's why I've been able to hang on to it for over 40 years because I'm getting lots of flavor and as a passionate human being as people we need flavor right olive oil will always give you that extra flavor and you don't have to worry about the fat because good fat is good for you it's the animal fat that's the problem so this is our spike I'm going to sprinkle that on this just adds a great flavor to whatever you're making. Oops. And we're going to pop it in the toaster oven for roughly about 45 seconds on both sides. And a few seconds, I'll turn it over so we can get both sides. But in the meantime, let's start getting our stuffing together, all right? So we'll take a separate plate. And we're going to put our onions in. Our marinated tomato, uh, marinated, marinated mushrooms. I know the difference between a tomato and a mushroom, honestly. Our marinated mushrooms and it could be any grouping of mushrooms that you love it could be portobello it could be shiitake it could be a button mushrooms a porcini it could be a combination of all of them i'm going to add the red pepper and then i'm going to put a little olive oil and salt on top of this i kind of layered it so the flavors kind of meld together i'm going to put some uh, olive oil on top of that you know what, I think I'm going to add my basil to it right now, too. I just kind of ribbon these. I can show you later how to do it if you like, but I think I'm going to add my basil, too, so the flavors just kind of mold together there. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I think our pita bread's probably ready. Let's check and see how it's doing. Yep, both sides. Okay. I promise you there isn't a soul that's tasted this sandwich that hasn't gone. This is the most delicious thing I've ever eaten in my life. I promise you. All right, let's pop in our veggies now. And we're just going to leave those in for just a few seconds, just to kind of take the chill off and for all the vegetables to um, blend together. The layering of the food is very important. And let's get ready to put our stuffing in. So we'll start by putting some of our homemade pimento cheese. And you can be as generous as you like. But we'll start with our cheese. And I like to put it on both sides. I mean, this would be a sandwich by itself, just the cheese and the pita bread. Okay, let's check our vegetables again. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see, you only leave it in seconds, so it's basically raw veggies. We're just kind of melding the vegetables in together, okay, putting the flavors. And we're just going to stuff this in, our fresh veggies. This is so good. This is one of my cheatable foods, folks. I have to tell you, I could cheat with this every so often, since I'm basically a raw foodist. We'll get our vegetables in. And then we're going to add fresh avocado, fresh lettuce, and the mayo last, okay? Let's put some of our avocado in. Remember, you always got to have the fat with the vegan food. You do need the fat, folks. It keeps you from feeling like you're missing the animal stuff. That's mainly what you get used to. All right, let's stick some of our chopped avocado in there. Oh, my mouth is watering already. Is yours? Should be. Can't wait for you to try this one. And you know, when you try it, I really would appreciate hearing from you, your experience with your friends and family, how well they enjoyed it, how it worked for you, if you have any ideas to add to it for me, because you know, it's just one big experiment all the time. There are no set rules. These are guidelines, so you may come up with something altogether delicious and wonderful. Now let's add our vegan vegan mayo. Well, let's put the tomato in first. And just cut nice big slices. Stick our tomato in. Let's put our lettuce in. It's almost like a taco, huh? It's like a pita taco. And we'll put our vegan mayo in. And I love lots of the vegan mayo. Add a little bit more avocado on top. And we're ready to eat. So here we are at the tasting part, you know, and I found the beautiful Alicia in the store today to taste for us. So let's see what she thinks. All right, Alicia, will you give us a sample? Yes. Biting, sample biting. Have you ever heard of sample biting? Go ahead. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Everybody that eats it says that. I'm oh telling you, gosh. your friends and family are going to be so impressed with you. And it's so, how simple was that? How easy was that? I made it literally a total of 10 minutes. Okay, it took no, to make the really, whole thing. This is incredible. Okay, and I'm not paying her to say it. Honestly, it is so delicious. So please make sure you continue to join me for Karen TV. Check out my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We've got online classes coming starting real soon. Pick up the book, soak your nuts, whatever. I just want to be a part of your life and I want you to be a part of mine. So please remember that if you don't take care of your body, the most magnificent machine, if she's still eating, this the most so magnificent good. machine you'll ever be given, where are you going to live? Thank you.